Hi guys, George here from Zero Period Productions, and today on Skyrim Saturday Mods, we're diving into Requiem of the Brotherhood by Chakra. Originally released over the summer, this was one of several quest mods submitted for this year's Skyrim Guild Mod Jam. Earlier this year, we covered another of the mods submitted, Calling the Watchmaker, a short quest mod consisting of different conversations with a scholar during his descent into madness trying to uncover the secrets of the universe. Requiem of the Brotherhood serves as an extension to the Dark Brotherhood in-game, with a new quest, locations, and even its very own new music track. In order to begin, you'll need to have joined the Dark Brotherhood and have progressed through the quest Whispers in the Dark, in which you confront Cicero about the Night Mother. If you've already completed the Dark Brotherhood's questline, as I have, you may need to enter and exit the Falkreet Sanctuary in order to activate the quest trigger. The mod is available for Skyrim Special Edition for PC, and has no other requirements in order to play. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I wonder what it could be. Mysterious Note 1. I, I like that it's number one. The, the writer, they want me to know that it's not the last. They want me to know that there is more mysteriousness to come. To the esteemed listener, in the shadows I have observed your every move. Your prowess has captured my attention and, dare I say, admiration. The tapestry of your actions reveal a true child of Sithis. We share a communion of purpose, dear listener, for I too... I'm an acolyte of our dread father, cloaked in the abyssal embrace of darkness, an alliance whispered on the edges of our clandestine world, beckons. A proposition unfolds laden with promise and peril, deep within the heart of an ancient cave's labyrinthine grip. Secret slumber, relics of potent significance yearning for liberation, their guarded repose is a testament to their value as well as the treacherous path one must tread to claim them. This guy likes to write. <laughs> this guy bought a thesaurus, didn't he? Venture forth if you dare and grasp these veiled relics. Our hands, united by a common cause, shall wield them to bring unparalleled glory to Sithis and his whispered legacy. West of the Whiterun Hold, across the road, lies our fate. As shadows intertwine, remember that I am but a specter in the void, a watchful eye that observes your ascent. Your answer, like ripples upon the surface of blackened waters, shall resonate through the silence. Awaiting your choice, I will be watching and writing more very long-winded letters. Alright, travel to the location mentioned in the letter. Don't mind if I do. The secluded tunnels just north of Brittle Shin Pass. You know, if that guy doesn't uh, stay in the Brotherhood, if he decides he doesn't want to be an assassin anymore, he could take up writing. He might want to, you know, tone it down ever so slightly. It's ever so slightly verbose, but, you know, he's got the right spirit, if nothing else. He he's definitely much more you know, versed in literature than the rest of the Dark Brotherhood is. Although, if I'm being honest, I, I could kind of see Cicero writing something similar. Oh. Alright, I like that we're using a different texture for the entrance. <laughs> Although it, um, it, it does stand out a little bit. You would think that someone would come by and try to unlock it, but it is a master lock, and frankly... From what we've seen across all of Skyrim, oh, no one ever tries to unlock these things. They, they always wait for us to do it. I did not expect there to be a grove right here. Because it didn't necessarily look like there would be this kind of like cutout of the mountains immediately. I saw a Spriggan. I, I saw the Spriggan. I'm just waiting. Oh, no, no Spriggan. I'm, I'm seeing things. It's a little dark. What can I say? Oh, the remains of Damon. 
You're, you're not hostile yet? Okay, you're not hostile. Never mind. The remains of Zardo, the remains of Rainier. And this mage- oh, okay, now he's mad. And of Nalix. I am wondering if there will be more significance, but I love that they're named. Just right off the bat, it's a little just attention to detail, a little kind of almost world building within the mod. Oh, I can't search them. Oh, that's mildly suspicious. That makes me ever so slightly wary. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Oh, but I can search the coffins. Oh, 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 Luna, Luna. Oh, there you are. Okay, I was gonna say, because I hadn't fought Luna yet. You know, you don't look like a Luna. Well, I, I imagine Luna to be a lady. Like, Lady Luna. You're not the Luna I imagined. Let me... Before I take anything from the coffins, I'm just checking to see what's in them. Because I could very easily see this being a thing of, oh, only take the right item for, like, a puzzle or something. Oh, okay. Beautiful model on the Tainted Ring. They did not need to include a new model for that. I love that they did. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, okay. So there was still one of you left. My apologies, Valen. My apologies. Tainted amulet, all right. Yeah. I... Well, he said take the the items. The note very clearly said, oh, take these lost relics of our past. So, he's, he's waiting, he's watching, he's observing. These are all going to be items from previous, like, members of the Dark Brotherhood, possibly even... Members of the Black Hand in times long past. But we'll take all of them. There we go. And now we can wait for news from our mysterious benefactor. Mr. Uh, Shakespeare of Skyrim, if you will. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. The gods. Oh no. Dragon. Nope, not now. I I'm fight. sorry. I I've got mysterious note number two to read right now. <laughs> the threads of fate have woven our paths together once more, and the offerings you've secured have not gone unnoticed. As our unity deepens, so too shall the shadows of our legacy extend. The relics we have obtained shall serve as keys, unlocking doors that will lead us further down the darkened path we tread. Their significance resonates through the abyss, echoing promises of boundless power and the triumph of our dread father's will. The hour for our convergence is upon us, dear listener, at the northern reaches of Winterhold, where the land and sea embrace in an eternal dance. I shall await you. Beside the sea of ghosts... Okay, all right. <laughs> we, we, I get it. I, I get it. You, you can end it with, I shall await you. You can just say where. Beside the sea of ghosts, where ancient echoes whisper in the very air thrums with arcane potency, we shall solidify our alliance, and together we shall devour the very gods. Let the stars be your guide as you traverse the icy expanse for our rendezvous is destined to etch itself into the annals of darkness awaiting your arrival. I remain vigilant. Do not underestimate the weight of this encounter. Choose your steps with care, for the future we mold lies within our grasp. It's just, it's a little unnecessarily wordy. I get it. Hey, meet me at Winterhold. Meet me near Winterhold. You say it like three or four different times in the letter. I, I We can move on from this. I hope you like dragons, because um, this is your problem, not mine. I, I got a date with a wordsmith. So our friend, our benefactor, our, uh, Shakespeare, is at a desolate sanctuary not too far from Ysgrimor's tomb. Which, it's off the beaten path, so people really wouldn't be encountering it. People really wouldn't be finding it all that much on their own. There's, uh, there's Talos. There's the cage. Let's just keep going. I feel like people see that and they go, oh, there's not going to be anything else out here, so they don't look for 
a hidden Dark Brotherhood sanctuary. If there is a black door and I have to open it, ooh. I wouldn't know the passwords. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but I'm just immediately thinking to that, you know? Is it going to be up, down? It might be up. I think it's up here. Hello? You're around here somewhere. Please don't go fight the Horkers. I also hear a bear. Oh, 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 he wants to fight the Horkers. Nope, he's a little scared of the Horkers. Really? Well, I guess you're a little bit more of a... a rider than a fighter, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll kill the Horkers for you, assuming that it's the Horkers that he's scared of. Man. And you're the one who's telling me that we've got a dark destiny ahead of us? <sighs> Not a great first impression. Oh, yep, still can't talk to him. Yeah, I, I hear a bear. Alright, bear is dead. Please... Talk to me. See? There you go. Once again, you're not making the best first impression right now. Oh. Oh, he's got a mask. Uh, so you're the one who's been sending me these letters. <laughs> I am indeed. Narzel, you may call me. I'm gonna call you a Frady Cat. Well, you have some explaining to do. Not so fast, my friend. The items, you do have them, yes? Well, yeah, here you go. Just got them in my bag right here. <laughs> Excellent! Oh, you have done well, well indeed. <laughs> No, no, no! They have not yet been corrupted! They are missing their mark! Their burden! We got Cicero at home, don't we? Alright, we're, we're getting into a little bit of a Cicero at home territory here. Between the, uh, the clothing, the, the voice being reminiscent, the mannerism. Mark? Burden? What, what are you rambling on about? I already killed one Cicero, I can do it again. They are yet to be touched by death. They have not yet witnessed an act worthy of the Dread Father's favor. This will not do, not at all. You must remedy it. Grant the blessing of death to these items. Then it shall be ready. Can I start with you? But you owe me some answers first. <laughs> if that's what you wish. Who are you? I've already told you. Do you not remember? Are you losing your mind? Do you too see the shadows that never cease? You're giving me a weird vibe right now. <laughs> I just, I just, my friend. I once lived in this place. It was my home. But that was before them. Before the heretics tore down all I held dear. Um, why not just meet me in person? These are dangerous times, yes? I had to be sure. Sure that you bore no ill intentions. The weird thing is that you can see his mouth move sometimes, but it doesn't seem to always move in correspondence with the lines. Why didn't you gather these antiques yourself? <laughs> I am but a lowly worm. Oh, I noticed. A worm who dreams of becoming a crow. This worm can do not to the beasts he wishes to become. But a bull can. More of a dragon, but sure. All right, I'm, I'm done asking questions. How do I restore them? These items, artifacts, were once gifted with death. They were imbued with its purifying taint. But their power has waned. Now the boons they once held lie dormant, and only death can blare them back to life. Mm -hmm. 
And how do we restore them? I'm the one restoring them. How do I do it? <laughs> Why in there? In the sanctuary. You don't know the password, do you? <laughs> Time has not been kind to me, my friend. My memory often fails me. But don't fret, my friend. I know how you can enter. All right, well, tell me how. <laughs> A grave. Here you'll find restless souls. Souls who know what I don't. Here, I'll mark it on your map. One extra L in there. You better not be pulling my leg. I eagerly await your return. That's not a, that's not a no, you're not pulling my leg. <laughs> I hope you're not pulling my leg. I'll see you later. That, that's not a yes or a no. Little suspicious. They might grow on me a little bit later, but right now, it really does just feel like they're very similar to Cicero, and I would rather have a more unique character. I guess the unique part being that Cicero is a cold-blooded killer, and this guy was scared of a bear, and even says, it's like, yeah, I'm not all that worthy. Which was not really the... Um the impression that I got from the letters. I got that he was kind of verbose and wordy, but I figured he was still, like, a natural killer. Also, uh, just one thing to note is that the author does recommend bringing a torch or some means of light, which I'm doing via quick light because the dungeons can get rather dark, especially, um... If you're using, like, EMBs, lighting mods, stuff like that. I like that we have, um, you know, this new set, or at least, I'm not sure if it's new, new, or just renamed, but we have the worn shrouded armor. So I am going to take that. I'm trying to think of worn shrouded would have been in the base game. I don't think so. It's been how many years and I've played not only Skyrim how many times, but all these different mods how many times. Sometimes you just kind of lose track of like, oh god, I don't remember what's vanilla and what's a mod anymore. Okay, so we didn't get every piece of the shrouded armor, the worn shrouded armor. Boots, cowl, gloves, but none of the coffins had the, the armor itself. Because my very first thought was that I might need it to progress, but nope, was just a pull chain. I will up the brightness a little bit in editing for YouTube as well, because um, it's rather dark for me, which means it will be even darker for you. Oh, God. Uh, you know what? I'm going to turn up my brightness more. Where I'm going to turn up the lantern's radius more. Oh, that is much better. That is worlds better already. Hello. I know Christmas already passed, but here we have the, uh, the ghost of, uh, Brotherhood past, present, and future, huh? Despite it being very dark, I love the ambiance of this dungeon. Let me just say that much. Really lovely tone that they set here. Oh, you don't talk? Okay. How about you? You don't talk? Okay. And how about you? There we go. Third time's the charm. I was sent here to recover lost knowledge. I perceive. And what dost thou seek from the ethereal echoes of those who journeyed beyond? The password to the sanctuary in Winterhold. <laughs> And what dost thou possess that makes thee believe thou art deserving of this shrouded secret? I got money. 
I'm chosen by the Night Mother. I am the listener. We shall ascertain that in due course. Ascertain. First, prove thy mettle through the trial of combat. And only then shall I entrust thee with the forgotten words to be employed as thou seest fit. Steer thyself, for the challenge awaits. Okie dokes. Am I just fighting you? I just wanted to make sure it was just you. I like your sword. Oh wait, that's just... Sorry, it, it looked unique for a second. It's just basic, run-of-the-mill, ancient Norse sword. Uh, tis truly, though. The password is hubris, my brother. You said hubris in a weird way. Oh, here we go. Key to the Dark Garden, a rusty key. I'm going to take both of those. Hi. It was very nice meeting all of you. I don't know if I want to open your coffin since you're still alive. Although the rusty key might open that as well. Oh, here we go. I know I already have a key to the Dark Garden. I'm going to take that. Black hand boots, hand hood robes. I'm curious if that's going to be unique. Do you mind if I open yours? You don't mind. Same stuff. Okay, black hand uh, set. You're going to have the same stuff, aren't you? Yeah, you do. I, I just wanted to see. You, you can keep it. You can hold on to it. I'm just being nosy. Uh, what else is new? This is a section that would benefit from um, maybe a little bit of a longer puzzle section. The thing that immediately comes to mind is maybe something similar to um, Nocturnal's trials in restoring or uh, returning the um, the skeleton key. Hey, new best friend. You return! Do you have what I seek? I have what we seek. You could have warned me of the danger I was in. I wasn't in any danger. What is he talking about? <laughs> How was I meant to know of their rage? That was nothing. Last I had heard, they all loved a good chat. <laughs> Sir, you were scared of a bear. So, friend, do you have the code? I wish there were two options when I returned to him. Like saying, oh, you could have warned me, or oh, that was easy because I fought one ghost, and that was it. Hubris, my brother. Excellent! 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 Now the fun part can begin! <laughs> you must enter and look for the ritual site. Then we can finally begin. What will I be looking for specifically? You'll know it when you see it. Don't worry. <laughs> Why aren't you coming with me? Traumatic memories. The past still lives with me. Even in the present. <laughs> okay. Now, one thing I should say is that I'm... One of the players who I didn't really care all that much for Cicero, I didn't really like him all that much, so having what really feels like a carbon copy of Cicero, not my favorite choice. What does flesh reveal? My bones! Also hubris. My brother. Not a bad, uh, impersonation, though. Not a bad approximation. Oh. Hello. Oh, 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 we're all, we're all gonna be angry. We're all gonna be not friendly. I mean, that also makes sense, because we have to do the same thing in the Dawnstar Sanctuary. So it would only make sense, uh, that that would be repeated again. I'm curious as to how big this sanctuary is going to be. Because I find that's one thing that I will sometimes be slightly critical about in other Dark Brotherhood mods, is a lot of the times 
monitors make these sanctuaries way too big for the actual size of the Dark Brotherhood itself and the amount of people who will be actually using the space themselves. Because the Falkweed Sanctuary, not that big. Dawnstar Sanctuary, it gets a little windy with the little bit of a maze it has, but it's not all that big either. Ooh, Ebony. Oh, here we go. Silencer's Bow and the Silencer's Scimitar. Don't mind if I do. Okay, a little bit lower damage compared to the Dragonbone Sword, but I'm murdering people very quickly right now as it is, so let's give it a shot. Let's try it out. I'll show them my curved sword, if you know what I mean. Yeah, right now this is a very linear sanctuary, and it just feels like it has a lot of kind of blank space that could have been condensed. Like, this this room's very long. It almost feels a little over-decorated, too, with the, um, the Nordic architecture. Like, this room could be half as long, and I was going to say it would accomplish the same uh, purpose, but aside from, like, the two targets, I don't really know what else the uh, purpose of this room would be. Yeah, I feel like right now this sanctuary would benefit from having more branching paths rather than being kind of one long path. And if we use this as a quest hub, this is just going to be very long to navigate each and every time. Unnecessarily so. Oh, well, I think I know where I need to be. It's going to be the blood room. It's going to be... Oh. Oh. Getting the stains out of my shoes after this? Man. Oh. Defeat the amalgamation. Oh, here we go. Oh, it is... Oh, what does he have? Oh, he's got a bone staff. Yeah, I'm glad I'm using the... The scimitar, because it, it's going to make this a slightly more challenging fight rather than my Dragonbone Sword, which does, what, like three times the damage, so kind of drawing the fight out a little bit more, but not opposed to it necessarily. Really, really like that we have a unique boss here. It's really, really happy with that. Okay, I was going to say, I wonder if he summons things, because so far he's only summoned the Flame Atronach, but... Uh, yeah, I, I do like... For a fight like this, it would make sense for him to have summons of some sort. But given that he's kind of a, uh, you know, a bone amalgamation, I would love if he was raising kind of like some bloody skeletons. That would work very well here. Ooh, 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 almost there. And it would probably benefit me to heal up and restore my stamina, but I, I got him. I'll definitely improve the scimitar, though. <laughs> uh, I, I really, really should, because I would like to keep using it. Oh, here we go. Worn shredded armor, which... Yeah, I don't know if the worn set is going to be any different... Uh, from the regular set, but if nothing else, I'm glad to collect it. I bet no one cared who you were until you put on the mask, huh? You have it, don't you? The essence! Once again, I, I wish I had a second dialogue option here, because... Once again, we're, we're the listener, we're supposed to be this incredibly adept killing machine, and we're like, oh, I could have died! It's like, yeah, you could die every day of your life, Dragonborn, calm down! Well, you're whole. 
that's what matters, is it not? But you do have it, yes? Also, I ripped off his skull for good measure. Yes, yes! No, oh, this is just enough! Enough to awaken what lies dormant! You shall see soon enough! Return in one week. Then your efforts shall be rewarded. All right, one week, I'll <laughs> mark it on my calendar. Can I talk to him again? No, I can't. All right, one week. You stay here, you, uh, you get to work. I'll just be at the inn if you need me. What I do like is that it does give you a um, an update when a week has passed. I took note of what day I we started waiting, people. just to be safe, just in case I had to keep track of it myself, but I like that. I'm happy that that is included. Uh-oh. Um, I was gonna say, I don't see him. Failed. Check in on him. He's missing. I must find him. Perhaps he fled into the sanctuary. I mean, if I saw Shadowmere having a seizure, I'd probably flee into the sanctuary, too. 